Hey guys, it's Melody again. I have a super quick layout for you. It only took me 24 minutes to scrap, so it's only about a six minute video here for you. Um, so my biggest challenge with this is I had five photos that I wanted to scrap and I wanted to keep the white borders on the photos. Well, that takes up like 80% of your page when you're, doing, when you're doing a 12 by 12 layout. So I'm going through all the supplies that I pulled. I kind of make my own little kits right now. This is not something I've always done, but probably for about the past month or so, that's what I've been doing. And it's been really kind of a great way to clear out my stash. And it's given me, you know, a different eye for different things that I've had for a while. So I just kind of made a list of some colors that I wanted to combine. Then I sat down for about an hour, two hours, and went through the bulk of my supplies, just piling them up in those colors. So this little kit I have kind of has natural colors like wood and tan, and then it has um, blacks and red tones. And that's kind of the majority of the colors that are in this layout. Now I've chosen this basic gray paper because I kind of like the way, now this is probably just some weird thing that my brain came up with, but the pattern in the background kind of reminds me of some sort of tribal pattern. I, I really don't know how to explain it other than it looks kind of a it, it just made me think of, you know, out in the woods, like, I don't know, whatever. It worked, okay? <laughs> so I've got all these photos of these animals um, from our zoo trip that year. This is the last layout I have from that trip, so don't worry. You're not going to see these zoo pictures continuously. But I did want to make sure that I got these in there because we go to the zoo periodically, um, and it seems like every time we go, we see something different. This just happened to be a really good trip for the lions and um, the zebras and the monkeys and the polar bear. So those are the ones that I made sure that I got here. And then actually, because I knew I had these, the last time we went to the zoo, I looked for the other animals and tried to get really good photos of those. That way, whenever I'm scrapbooking those photos, I can highlight those animals that were missed on this one. And like I mentioned before, having all of these photos really was a challenge um, figuring out how they were going to be on the layout. So I ended up overlapping them to some degree. And then I added a few Project Life cards. These were from, um, I believe the set is called Animals. It may be called Zoo, but I think it's called Animals. And so there was one that said Lions, Tigers, and Bears. Oh my. And of course, you know, we've got the Lions and the Tigers, or the Lions and the Polar Bears, so it worked close enough. I'm using these little um, circle alpha stickers, and they're actually from a Christmas collection, um, but the red and the cream match my color scheme here. And I'm moving them around. Um, I wasn't really sure what to put or where to put it, but it says so many animals, and that's going to be my title. It's very small, and it's just because I have so many pictures on this layout. I didn't want anything competing um, for attention, and I really wanted the photos to be the highlight of the layout. I'm going through and pulling um, some stickers off some sticker sheets that I have. Like I said, there's that one that you see right there. That first one that I was pulling off of was a Christmas collection. And it just has those real deep maroon red colors and a lot of, um, lost my train of thought, a lot of beige colors. So it matched well because the background is a black background. It's kind of a, it's not a, a real bold black I guess you could say it's more kind of a muted tone and then the um the cream or the white it's really hard to tell it kind of looks dusty almost so it, it comes off as a cream so it works out well and when then with the white border on the photos they really pop just adding my journaling and I did add a stamp that said remember this and this was from a I believe it's a Heidi Swap stamp set a very small stamp set but it has some really cute um, small stamps that are good for project life or for scrapbooking. Just adding some of these puppy stickers from this twine and ink um, set that I have. I got that in a Studio Calico monthly kit subscription over a year ago and I still have them in my stash. Like I said, I really hate throwing things away so they will stay in my stash until I use them. And this is going to wrap up the layout. I've got, like I said, my journaling there at the bottom, my very small um, title and then I'm going to use this tag. This is just a craft tag that I had in my stash. I'm going to cut it up in a few pieces and kind of add a couple captions around 
the layout and that's going to be all of the journaling that I have. There's not really much that needs to be said for the animals. I mean, they kind of speak for themselves. You can tell what they are. So it's, it's not going to be um, a big piece of this layout, but I definitely wanted to include it. So um, I'm going to have some still shots at the end of this video for you to look at so you can see what I have. I'm just, I'm going to play around with this ribbon for a moment, but I didn't want to add too much. I wanted to keep it simple and like I said, focused on the pictures of the animals instead of on the embellishments. I just wanted to have enough embellishment to make it look cohesive. And then of course, I mean, hey, what would I be? How would I be a scrapbooker if I just threw pictures in a layout and just didn't embellish it? Um, so this wraps up the pictures from our zoo trip. And next, you will see a um, project lifestyle first and second page of my August 2013 photos. I didn't have any 12 by 12 layouts for that one. So I just have the project lifestyle coming up next. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.